Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to go over how you can do popovers and modals and all that sort of thing with uh, just basically HTML. So no longer do you need JavaScript in order to do any of this. And that is because of this new popover API. So this was just introduced somewhat recently to uh, most browsers. So this will be native within your browser. And basically all we're gonna have to do is add a few elements to HTML and we'll have popover support uh, directly into our HTML. So in the past, often you'd have to uh, import a library or do this with uh, some vanilla JavaScript yourself. So it's nice to kind of have this sort of thing just natively built into the browsers. So if we go through here, um, we're gonna see it's the popover attribute is what they're gonna call it here. You can see the uh, support it has uh, right now for browsers. So basically we'll show you how to do all this in a second, but basically you're just gonna add an ID here uh, and then a popover target. So I think that should be all good. Let's uh, implement this ourselves real quick and show you how easy it is to do because it is quite easy. All right, so all I have on the left here is an index.html, no other files in here, that's all I got. Uh, let's just scaffold up some HTML right now, like this, and all our work is gonna be done right within here. So we can come into our uh, body right here to start with, and let's just add a button here. And all we're gonna do is say, uh, pop over here like this, then we can come back over here and we're gonna add the popover target. So we say popover target, uh, all lowercase like that. And we're just gonna call this whatever you want, but uh, we'll call it a just modal because that's kind of what we're gonna use it for. So we're gonna have popover target and uh, we're gonna call that modal. Then below this right here, let's uh, do a div here. And inside this div, we can have uh, let's just do this is going to be the modal that's going to open so let's just do a paragraph tag right here and we'll just say so that is going to be what's shown within the modal when the modal is open now we have to add uh, the ID to this div right here so let's come in here and we'll say ID like this and then we'll come in and all we have to say is modal so these things have to match. So our ID needs to match our popover target in order for this to work. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Um, in VS Code, we're gonna say go live right here. And you see that we get this text right here. Now we obviously don't want this, uh, but that is because I forgot on our div to add the popover attribute. So we have to add the popover like that. And you can see that goes away right when we add that. So now we come in, this might be a little small. Let's bump this up a little bit here. All right, so that's a little better. Now, uh, if we come in and we hit popover, you see we get this uh, popover right now. It's a little big still. So we see we get this uh, popover right here. So that is working just like we want. Now, because we have um, just the popover attribute without anything else, we can see if we click outside of the popover, so outside of our div here, we see that it closes anywhere else it closes that works just fine now there is another option that we can add here which is a uh, popover uh, right here and we can say manual so if we do this like that uh, and then if we come in and we want like an X or something here you see this isn't closing right now so when you add manual you have to do some sort of uh, close actions on uh, say we have an X or a close button or something like that. So right now that uh, will close still close if you hit the popover button. But other than that, if we click outside, none of that is going to close. So in order to uh, add kind of an X or something, all we'd have to do is uh, come inside our div here and we'll just do another button here uh, and we'll just do an X within it here like this. Uh, and then we're gonna add a couple things onto this button attribute here. So we're gonna have a popover target like that. And that's gonna equal uh, the modal, which we had. And we're gonna have a popover target action. Remember all these are lowercase and that's gonna say hide. So there's some different actions you could do here. This is gonna hide it for us. 
So if we go ahead and save that, we have the popover target action. We have the popover target mode on this button. And then we come over, we hit this. And now you see we have this little X here. If we hit that, it's gonna close for us. So this is how you would close it manually. Again, if we click outside, I'm clicking outside right now. Nothing's happening. We click the X, then you're gonna get that. So that is how you would manually close your modal, uh, your popover, whatever you want to call them. Uh, that is basically how you do it. So you can see no JavaScript involved at all. Uh, very simple, uh, natively in HTML to do this. Uh, so this is a nice little new feature, I think, uh, for browsers. So that's it. If you liked the video, give it a like or subscribe. And until the next one, thanks for watching.